Bill? Run! Run! Wait! Never get a naked slave too close to one of Phil Cassidy's moonshine steals. Shit, Phil. Did you drink that stuff? The hell, you don't have to drink it. Just a good whiff will set you off. Ah, Listen, Phil, you said you could fix me up with some firepower. Sure thing. There's some Mexican gunrunner been doing me for business of late. He does his weekly run about now. <clears throat> hey. Ram his hardware off the back of his trucks before he goes to ground. And you'd be doing me a favor while you're at it. Then finish him off. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Amy. However, you have mispronounced my name. It's Madge, which rhymes with badge. Uh, as in duh. And no, as in more than you. Maginot. Anyway, thank you for having me on the show. It's always a pleasure to discuss my art. Yes, you're so funny. just the five of us and on the other you do those weird theater dance shows which aren't funny yes thank you technical school dropout i'm sure sitting here talking all day important issues in the world today love pain suffering skin tight no mean. It's about depth and texture and sense of community that emerges from the struggle going on within all of us, between man and machine, between the angel and the beast. It's as if Petrushka and Leonard Hey! ferocious dance competition with switchblades. That is passion, my dear. Um, okay. So it's a bit like... Jimmy, he's so cute, even though he looks so young. I'd rather not talk about my complications working with him. I'm a performer. I express myself any way I can, while I'd never attempt to describe just the five of us as anything other than a worshipless pap. I need to support my serious art. It's like stealing a boombox to do live interpretive dance. If I bring joy to people's hearts doing an interpretation of a tree in the park, who is harmed? There is a value I derive from art, as a man, as a creator, and that is this. Never overestimate the dreadfulness of the mass market. No, I said, what are you doing driving like that? As they say in France, matrice. Please. Not in my house. Please. I came on your fine show to discuss art, not people that whore themselves out on the altar of commercial success, dancing like a puppet alongside a genetic freak. Although, I do that too. Okay, Moody. So, what do you want to talk about? Oh, I don't know. My performance at the Hollywood Bowl, perhaps. There are some that attend the concert inside. I am the concert outside myself. In the parking lot where we build bonfires and dance, it comes back to the seriousness of my purpose. At a young age, I held puppet shows on the corner that had people weeping and lying down in the streets. It's about movement, about encouraging ordinary, working-class people that there is something enervating about a modern dance performance. That seeing in the future there will be robots will change your life, no matter what your life's like now. Kind of like getting a new haircut. Yes, exactly. No, nothing like a new haircut, you halfwit. This is movement. Watch my hand. Yes, movement. There's a manatee on stage. See? He cannot hear from the wall of Wagner around him. 
We have lasers that shoot him down, cut him free, free his soul from the bondage of the past. And then on stage, we have snow that falls and represents love in all its forms. The robot makes a snow angel, and we begin to cry. Close curtain. Um, okay. Well, I'd love just the five of us. Please, 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 enough! Five succeeds while robots starve. Attendance has been poor. If I were opening this with the Orquesta Philharmonica di Jalapa in Mexico, there would be riots in the streets with small children giving me flowers and weeping. Here in Vice City, the...